Greetings fellow fig lovers, Lance here. And this morning, we are going to do a fig tasting of the little ruby. So here's my little ruby tree. And uh, I have actually gotten a few figs off of this. And I even went through the whole process of doing a fig tasting video. And they just weren't any good. And I suspected that it had a lot to do with the fact that we were without rain for about two months. And I have not been irrigating. It is a very long, convoluted story. But uh, my well pump went out. And I finally got a, got a backup system in. But I'm still not irrigating. But over the past week, we've had a ton of rain. And now I have the opposite problem. A lot of my figs are just splitting and molding. But I noticed I have a couple of uh, ripening little rubies here. And it could be, I think that one down there is moldy. Hopefully this one is not. Now, Little Ruby's uh, Violet de Bordeaux type. It's kind of a, a small, small fig and a small tree. But it produces a lot of figs. This thing has figs all over the place. And there's one starting to plump up there. But let's go ahead and pick these. Look at a few different leaf types here. There just seem to. Last year, this was a lot more finger like. It seems that they're a little fuller this year. Yeah. But let's go ahead and pick these. Oh, that fell right off. Oh, that one did too. And this one's mush. <laughs> That's mush. That's moldy. This one may be okay. Let's see what we have. Yeah, that other one was mush. And this one is probably well on its way. And I've noticed that uh, for such a small fig, it does tend to have an open eye. And the other one, I was actually looking at these yesterday thinking, well, these these really need to be picked. But I just didn't have the time. So, the other one's a garner. And this one, like I said, it's well on its way. So, let's weigh it up here. Just eight and a half grams. And true to its name, it is little. Although, I'm not sure if it's very true to its name as far as being ruby colored. I have seen some pictures on the, on the internet with some better color. So, I'm not sure if it has much to do with uh, my soil drying out so badly this year. But we have plenty of figs left. Maybe some will come in a little bit better. But let's... Uh, Slice this baby up and see what we have inside. So here we have the interior. And as you can see, it, there's a little bit of a cavity in here. And this is open. I've actually seen them a lot worse than this. And I'm not sure that... Uh, this is indicative of the potential of this particular variety. But let's give it a try. This side here is the slightly mushier side. So I'm going to start with this one, see how it goes. Well, I was really hoping that this would be better than the last few that I've had. 
and it may be a little bit better it may be maybe moving forward they'll get better but so far I'm not impressed with this this variety it's kind of mealy not a whole lot of flavor not a whole lot of sweetness the texture is just really kind of odd little bit of seed crunch it's just not really doing anything for me right now but let's let's try try another one here just not impressive it definitely has a mealiness to it I'm not sure if that's an accurate term I'm not sure how else to describe it. It lacks a certain smoothness, lacks flavor. There's just a very slight berryness to it, but just not very sweet, not very flavorful, and a very odd texture. Maybe that'll change as the season moves on here now that we've gotten some rain. I'll keep an eye on these and, and see if maybe we can get something a little bit better. If you'd like to receive notifications of future videos, please subscribe down here. Like us over here. And feel free to comment down below. And we'll talk with you next time. Be well.